Hi Taurus, this is Genevieve with Belly Down and Moonbeams. How are y'all doing? I'm doing really well. This is the reading for the week of March 15th through 21st, 2021. And it's been a pretty good week. COVID is going down. I mean, here in Oklahoma City, we had a high of 20,000 at one time. We were down to 4,000. That's 20% of what we had. It's actually technically less, but I'm not a mathy, sciencey person, so just you know, bear with me. So, the first card I get is the Wheel of Fortune. This is, and because it's upright and it's so pretty, and especially with where it's set, yes, we're, we're going to have great luck. There is some really good luck coming towards Tauruses. It's the wheel of fortune. But like I said, you know, it depends upon, is it upright? Is it upside down? What is surrounding it? Next to it, we get the empress. To, but it's upside down. The empress is basically, she's got everything going on. She's got a wand in her hand. You know, I have a thing for wands. That's This is one I made. And here's one I bought. But anyway, she's got everything she needs. She's got all 12 astrological signs up there. She's got her wand. She's got pomegranates for wisdom. She's got growth coming on. Because it's reverse, I'm just going to say that we are moving into this. That the wheel of, that this is something that we need to be working on more. The wisdom and that nurturing. Because this is all about the feminine energy. Next to it, we also get another strong woman upside down, which tells me that there is a lot of feminine energy with this luck. See, we get the nine of pentacles. And this is a woman, that, and I don't always think that a, women, men's are exactly the way they used to be back in the day because our world has changed so much. But this is a woman that gets the job, she gets the promotion. Things are going to go her way. So that tells me that we do have luck, but we're moving towards it. We're not in the midst of it yet. Also, there's some things that are going on around us. Turn it over. That tells me that we are feeling sadness inside. There's something that's hurting us, that's making us sad. That's, it, it can be a lot of different things. I do know that there's some things in my life that are extremely sad right now. And yeah, I get that. Also, we get a the Seven of Swords. That me, and this is upright. This is all about sneakiness and someone running off with the, you know, running off with the swords. See, he's sneaking away with the swords. There's someone in our lives that is not trustworthy and it's not working for us. And they are right next to this card and below this card. So this person is someone to keep an eye out for, to help keep us from advancing what we need to do, what we want to do to have our wheel of fortune. So you really need to be aware of that person. That doesn't mean you have to bust them out. It just means you need to find them, who they are in your life, and stop letting them influence you or hurt you and because overall this is a good reading except for the two bottom cards but I think that they're because they're at the bottom they're not as strong as the cards at the top the cards at the top it's what's really going on these are some things that's happening around us that we just need to keep an eye out for now I'm going to pull a card from the earth magic oracle deck I'm getting ready to take a trip I like this deck so much that it's one of the decks I'm taking. I'm actually taking three. Shock, right? I'm taking that one, the Spell Casting Oracle deck, and my basic tarot cards. You know, just got to have it all. So, Lotus Flower, Unfoldment. This is telling me that the universe is saying, I got this. They, you don't quite have to know all the answers to know where you're going. Just keep doing the work and you will have good luck. Just keep doing the work 
and things will work out. Keep manifesting. I have seriously been doing some manifesting. Keep it up. Look at it. Take it out every day. Visualize it. Manifest it. And I will, as the universe, as the God, as the goddess, unfold that for you. Just trust that it will unfold in the perfect way. Also, we get lightning, which is power. That's saying that we have the power. We have the power to manifest. We have the power to have good things happen for us. But we have to trust. We have to believe. We have to keep doing the work that we know we have to do. One of the things that I know I have to do is next month, I am... Sorry, I just saw something pop up on my phone. Um, next month, I'm taking the Akashic Records course by Linda Howe. I have another teacher, but it's one of her approved teachers. I'm so excited. It's going to be interactive. It's going to be three days, and it's on my birthday weekend. So, and, and I'm so excited to be doing that. I really feel like that's one of the things that I need to be doing in my life to get ready for where I'm going. What do y'all need to do? What do you need to do to advance yourself along? Namaste, y'all. If you want to do a private reading, send me a text to 405-512-9400. I'm going to be doing a Facebook Live on Belladonna Moonbeams at, 5, at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on Thursday, March 18th. And of course, please subscribe to this channel.